Hello, welcome to the American Backpacker. My name is Andy. It's been a while since I've done a video uh, and it's about that time and today I'm going to be doing a product review on a new item I received a few days ago and that's going to be the Garmin InReach Explore Plus. Now uh, this particular unit is an upgrade or a newer version of the older InReach Explorer uh, which I did a uh, review on a few months ago. Um, Garmin recently purchased out Delorum uh, last year and they're merging the companies together and they decided to upgrade or come out with a new version of the InReach Explorer. So what I'm going to do is a two-part video like I usually do on product reviews. This one will be uh, talking to you about the functions and the features of the unit and I'll give you a close-up. And then the second video will be my uh, field test of this unit out in the field. One of the major differences, other than this unit being a little larger than the uh, previous unit, is that this one has a topographical map. But a lot of the functions and the features are very similar to the older unit. And uh, I like the ergonomics or the uh, design of this unit a lot better than the uh, previous unit. So stand by while I give you a, a close-up view of the new Garmin InReach Explorer Plus, and I'll talk to you about the functions and the features of this unit. Here you have a side-by-side -side comparison of both InReach Explorer uh, units, the older version by Delorme and the uh, new one by Garmin. You can see that the Garmin unit is longer than the uh, previous unit. Uh, it's approximately the same width, maybe a little little wider, um, and probably maybe a little thicker as well. The unit's uh, weight on each. The uh, new Garmin unit uh, with the carabiner clip weighs approximately 8.8 ounces, and the um, older version weighs approximately 6.8 ounces. So the new Garmin unit is uh, slightly heavier. Now the new unit feels good in your hand uh, ergonomically. Uh, it has a rubberized coating around it uh, which uh, if you're in a wet environment um, you're able to keep a good grasp on it, won't slip out of your hand. Also it's designed for protection if you drop it. The older unit doesn't have that and uh, a case is recommended for this. You don't need to have a case uh, but if you put it in the case it's probably better in terms of uh, protecting it from falls uh, etc. Both units I put screen protectors on and I do that with most of my electronic equipment just to protect the uh, screen from uh, dirt uh, etc. out in the wilderness areas. The back of the units, uh, the old, uh, the older version I should say of the Explorer has a uh, belt clip on here which is plastic uh, and that breaks easy. The new Garmin unit has the um, carabiner uh, attachment uh, which is nice because you can attach it to your belt, a backpack, etc. and that comes off uh, pretty easily. back on. Overall the uh, new Garmin unit uh, seems very durable and again I've been using it for the past two days um, and uh, so far so good. I'm looking forward to uh, bringing it out for my field test. Let's talk uh, about the uh, functions and the features of the uh, new Garmin. Now the new Garmin is very similar in terms of the uh, features and the functionalities. Um, the unit has uh, a lithium ion battery uh, which will last up to 100 hours on a 10 minute track which is pretty good. Uh, you're talking uh, over three days. So if you're going to be using, utilizing the messaging system on this unit um, a lot or you're going to go to a tracking interval less than 10 minutes it won't last 100 hours. Uh, but 100 hours a 10 minute tracking is, uh, is very good. Uh, the unit can be charged in the field via solar panel or battery pack. And you do that here on the bottom. These two prongs are for um, 
kind of a docking station uh, to charge the unit, which I don't have. Uh, and I'll just be using, utilizing the uh, USB port here. A little rubber grommet over the port, and then that's where you charge the unit there, as well as do your data uh, transfers, uploads and downloads. All right, the unit uh, works on the Iridium satellite system. And the Iridium satellite system uh, is used for data transfer. This unit is a satellite communicator, so you can send and receive text messages and people can track you on it. Um, this portion here is the, uh, the Iridium antenna there, I guess you can say. Uh, and most handheld units uh, that Garmin makes, for example, use the Navstar system. So again, this is uh, strictly on the um, Iridium satellite system and you have to have a subscription for it to function. So it's not necessary, it's not a standalone GPS. For you to utilize the um, map features on this, you have to have either a monthly or an annual subscription, which you can look on the Garmin InReach webpage to see what the pricing is for that. I usually use the monthly uh, subscription uh, because I'm able to cancel it if I'm not in the field uh, one month. Now to activate the unit or turn it on, there's a power button here on top and you press that and the unit goes uh, into uh, this first screen which is a uh, warning message and then it goes to your icon screen which is very similar to the previous unit. The unit has a uh, kind of a new design here for the uh, function switches which I like, they're a little more spaced out and a little more ergonomically friendly, especially if you have large hands. Uh, you have your rocker switch here, which you're able to scroll through uh, the different icons. Your select uh, function key here. Um, the little X here is your cancel key. The little uh, lightning bolt there is uh, to access your shortcut menu. Your zoom in and zoom out uh, keys. Uh, your menu button here. If you click that twice, it brings you to the home screen. If you're on a specific icon, such as tracking, and you want to go to the menu key there to change the data screens here, uh, you just click it and it'll uh, bring you back or bring you to that menu screen. The SOS feature of this unit uh, if there's an emergency and you need to activate the SOS to have a GEOS team or rescue team come to your location. Uh, you can activate it via the um, uh, rocker uh, switch here by going to the icon and hitting your select key, or you can do it here on the side. Now, they found in previous units that uh, there's a lot of accidental ac uh, activations uh, with this SOS button, so they moved it here to the side, and uh, the way you access it here is you uh, pull away this kind of rubber cover here, and then you push the button there. So uh, accidental activations are almost impossible with this unit. Now the unit uh, has a topographical map built into it. It's a Delorum um, topo map, 24K, which is a very detailed map. It is uh, preloaded into the unit and uh, you just uh, scroll to the icon, hit the select, and there you have it. You have your uh, map, which is just a nice uh, feature to have, whereas the other one didn't. So uh, if you're out in the field, um, you know I have my um, uh, watch here, my Garmin Epics that I use. Uh, um, I can also utilize this as well. And by the way, I'll be doing a uh, product review probably on the uh, new uh, Garmin uh, watch, uh, GPS watch coming up, the Fenix. Um, and again, I'll be doing that probably here in the near future. All right, so um, the unit again has many uh, kind of functions you can you can utilize the tracking here, up to 500 waypoints, preset messages, messaging here to send and receive messages, up to 20 routes. Your compass here, which is a three-axis compass, which means that you can hold the unit at any angle and it will work.
You don't have to have it flat. Trip info contacts, you can add contacts here from the unit or you can add it uh, from your computer and then sync it. There is a uh, in-reach sync that you can put on your computer uh, and then you can um, do your routes on the computer and upload them here um, via that sync key uh, on the uh, computer uh, when you're going out on a uh, wilderness uh, trip. Uh, you can go ahead and plan your route and upload it here to the unit. It also has the weather icon which I talked about in the previous unit. And if you click on that, um, you can go to a detailed one or a basic plan which, which uses messaging rates. Uh, I did one a day ago, uh, about 26 um, miles, a little over 26 miles away from here. I'll click on that to show you what it looks like again. And there you go. You have your uh, date, time, uh, temperature, precipitation. If you want to get more detail, just click on a specific hour and it'll give you a more detailed reading. Um, you have your um, indicator light here. If it's flashing green, you have an unread message. Flashing red, you don't have a clear view of the sky. Uh, and then of course, um, up here is your battery life, Bluetooth, um, whether you're connected to a satellite, uh, and your time over there um, in terms of uh, uh, looking at um, uh, the specifics. Of, uh, right now I've had this unit on for almost three days and I'm at 35 uh, percent battery life and um, I've really only used it for um, just the tracking feature uh, and also the mapping uh, feature as well. I've sent a couple of messages to see that it works uh, and it does. But I am looking forward to doing that overnight field test on the unit um, here in the very near future. It also has a test function um, icon which uh, will allow you to test the unit before you go into the field to make sure it's working correctly. And there you have it. Uh, kind of a up close view of the new Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. Uh, and the functions and the features of the unit. Welcome back. Well, there you have it. The functions and the features of the new Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. Very similar to that of the older DeLorme InReach Explorer, uh, but with the uh, topographical feature on this particular unit, I'm looking forward to utilizing it out in the field. I will be doing a second video uh, which will be my field test of this particular unit here in the Ocala National Forest. It'll be an overnight video. Looking forward to utilizing it, especially uh, with the uh, map feature on this particular unit. The unit runs about $450. I got this on Amazon for about $449. Uh, but I think it's uh, well worth the investment for your safety when you're in the wilderness area. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Facebook page, uh, The American Backpacker. There I put a lot of still pictures on my wilderness adventures. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, please post them on my YouTube channel and I will definitely get back to you uh, with a response. This is Andy with The American Backpacker. Thank you for watching.